Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. I had no idea what lurked in the castle, and I couldn't abandon the people of the village. What if... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker, you yet live. Isold, You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. He is. He is being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many, and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but... I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. For Connor's sake, I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to, for Connor's sake. I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. Came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <sighs> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tigan. Bless you. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge.
Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Then it's for the best. I would prefer to go inside with you, but I have no choice in the matter. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. someone out there who is it by all that's holy you I can't believe it makers breath how did you get here I never thought I'd see you again of all people you've spoken with her then you know I poisoned Al Eamon. For all I know, he's already dead. He's not? That's a relief. I can't tell you how much. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was a, a terrible thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear! Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. Lady Isolde was looking for a mage to tutor Connor secretly. Terran Loghain found out and he sent me. I was to use the opportunity to poison the Arl. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. Why wouldn't I? I was desperate, and this is Terran Loghain we're talking about for Andraste's sake. Why wouldn't I believe him?
Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. And I betrayed you. And Lily. I'm sorry. So sorry. Please, I'm begging you. Won't you help me try and do one thing right in my life? I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance, please. I... well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. I'd stay and try to help if I could. Perhaps I can help deal with whatever's been unleashed here. I'm glad you think so. So what now? You're letting me out? And what then? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Get on it.
Now is better than later. Got it. Get on it. Allow me. I could do that. Now is better than later. I'll get on it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? <laughs>
Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? All right, all right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Valena, the Arlesa's maid. Is she all right? What happened to everyone? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? But, but the monsters! I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Allow me. I could do that for you. All right. I'll get on it. Now is better than later.
I'll get on it. You have opened the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our Arl again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. As you wish. We will hold the gate and watch for anyone attempting to leave. Let me know if the situation changes. I'll get on it. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This is an elf, Connor. You... You've seen elves before. We have them here in the castle. Oh, I remember. I had their ears cut off and fed to the dogs. The dogs chew for hours. <laughs> Shall I send it to the kennels, Mother? Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. I wish I could say the same! Wait! No, I don't! Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, Uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? To help me? To help father? To help yourself? Which? So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't! Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun! Frankly, it's getting dull! I crave excitement and action! 
This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andras too. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Connor is no longer a child. He's... An abomination. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Useful? After everything he did, he should be executed! Without him, none of this would have happened. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry, I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... I think he ran upstairs, to the family quarters. Violence scares him. I, I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room, or... I don't know. The fighting may have scared Connor into... coming out again, and so he ran. So you're saying he may be vulnerable? I... Perhaps. Is there... Is there no other way? Upstairs in his room. I think the demon has been keeping him alive. So if we destroy the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is... The easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade, without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt, and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have... blood magic. Yes, that's right. The ritual I know, it requires life energy. A lot of it. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. I agree. 
And I offer my own life. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. You're the mage here, not I, my friend. It's you who would be going into the Fade. The decision is yours. If there is even a chance to save Connor, I am. You rest your hopes on this young mage. He poisoned Eamon, and he could take your life power and attack for all we know. You would be a fool to try. No, I am willing to take his word. I would give my life for the chance to undo what I have done. I still do not agree, but it cannot be my choice. My son awaits your decision. Make it quickly. Thank you. If this will save my son, then I am not afraid. Then, who will go into the Fade? Will it be you? You have my eternal gratitude. May the Maker go with you. Then let's... Let's get this started. Have you seen my son? I can... I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. The what? I don't understand. Is Connor here or not? Why is he in this place? Why do I feel so strange? Then leave me to find my son. Connor! Where are you? Speak to me, lad! Is anyone out there? Hello? All right, all right. That made father ill. Tell me now. No! You're here to hurt father. I know it. I won't let you.
the one making father sick. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? And if I work on him, what would you say to him? You will not find what you seek. Turn back now. I will not speak with you. Trespasser, I will drive you out. so you can get off my back? Father wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? She needs him too. Part of him, the good part. She will not easily release it. No, it is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. Very well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power, nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead? I am desire. Whatever you creatures of the living world want, I seek to provide. Lust, power, greed. These are my province. Perhaps there are things you wish for. Let us pause and speak of them. It costs nothing but a moment of your time. Ah. I prefer reasonable negotiation whenever possible. Your goal is for me to release the boy's soul. Is that right? What if you could persuade me to leave voluntarily? No fuss, no bloodshed. So you will at least consider it? Let me make a proposition then. I abandon the boy. For now. But I retain the contract he and I made. And many years from now, I may return and claim what is mine. This will be long after whatever you want is done. In exchange, I will provide something of value. Who you? Something you desire. What say you? I offer. 
offer much. Power, knowledge, pleasure. What is it you desire? I see. Though you are alone in my domain, I do not doubt your power. I am not one for taking risks. Have it your way. I relinquish my hold on the boy, if you allow me to leave unhindered. I can offer nothing better. I see. Name your price, then. Very well. You force my hand, but you shall have it. You have your way, and the boy is free. We are done here. So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things, should Eamon recover. I'm not sure how I will tell him of all this. Isolde is dead, yet her sacrifice saved their son. There is still the matter of Jowan. He performed the ritual and did not deceive us. In a way, he saved Connor's life even though he killed his soul. I am unsure what to make of this. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? Released? This mage is a Malefica. Even if I ignore his crimes, I cannot simply unleash him on the land. Perhaps you are correct. But that is Eamon's decision, not mine. I'm sorry. Jowan stays in the dungeon for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. As odd as it may seem, the quest Isolde sent the knights on may be our only hope. We must find the urn of sacred ashes. Isolde sent most of Eamon's knights in search of the ashes of Andraste, which legend claims were hidden in Ferelden by her followers. The ashes are said to have the power to heal almost any malady. They could almost certainly heal Eamon. If your business leads you elsewhere, I cannot hold you here. But I hope you want to restore Eamon as much as I. Eamon funded the research of a Denerim scholar, a brother Genetivi. He has been trying to decipher the inscriptions on Andraste's birthrock. When Eamon fell ill, Isolde sent her knights to Genetivi in the hopes that he had finally discovered the location of Andraste's final resting place. They were unable to find him. In desperation, Isolde sent others in search of the brother or some clue of the urn's location. I must organize Eamon's knights as they return, draft new soldiers, and prepare the army to fight. I shall hand Redcliffe back to Eamon when he awakens, and in a state where it can be of some use in the coming war. Truly, what other choice do I have? No one else can. Even if I wish to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own devices. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on his whereabouts. It is the only place to begin the search, I think. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, 
and may the Maker go with you.